food scientist from Nanyang Technological University Singapore NTU Singapore have made an antibacterial gel bandage using the discarded husks of the popular tropical fruit durian known as the king of fruits in southeast asia the durian has a thick husk with a spiky thorns which is discarded while the sweet flesh surrounding the seeds on the inside is considered a delicacy by extracting high quality cellulose from the durian husk and combining it with glycerol a waste byproduct from the biodiesel and soap industry and you scientists created a soft gel similar to silicon sheets which can be cut into bandages of various shapes and sizes they then added the organic molecules produced from baker's yeast known as natural yeast phenolics making the bandage deadly to bacteria The innovation was published in the journal ACS Sustainable Chemistry and Engineering, a peer-reviewed journal of the American Chemistry Society. Conventional hydrogel patches are commonly available at pharmacies, usually used to cover wounds from surgery to minimize the formation of excessive scar tissue, resulting in a softer and flatter scar. The patch keeps the skin hydrated instead of drying up when conventional band-aid or gauze bandages are used. Conventional hydrogel patches on the market are made from synthetic materials such as polymers like polymethacrylate and polyvinyl pyrrodiline. Those with antimicrobial properties also use metallic compounds such as silver or copper ions. Such synthetic materials approved for use in biomedical applications are more costly as compared to the new hydrogel made from natural waste materials. The researchers say that with the growing threat of antibiotic resistant superbugs, the world will need multiple alternative ways to prevent infections. An effective way to protect open wounds is with antimicrobial bandages that are biocompatible and safe for prolonged use by humans. This is especially important for diabetic patients suffering from chronic wounds. By using waste products which are currently discarded in large quantities, durian husk and glycerol, the researchers could turn waste into a valuable biomedical resource that can enhance the speedy recovery of wounds and to reduce chances of infections. With the husk comprising 60% of the durian, it is usually discarded and incinerated, posing an environmental issue. In Singapore, it was reported that 14,300 tons of durian were imported and consumed in the year 2017. Being non-toxic and biodegradable, the organic gel bandage is also expected to have a smaller environmental footprint than conventional synthetic bandages. Wounds linked to chronic diseases are expected to become a more common health burden where bacterial infection of skin wounds is a serious risk. The market for wound dressing is estimated to be worth 11.4 billion dollars annually according to a paper published in the European Polymer Journal. The clinical advantage of the new hydrogel bandage is that the natural yeast phenolics embedded will help to prevent the growth of bacteria such as gram negative e coli and gram positive s areas and the subsequent formation of biofilms a layer of slime that can lead to antimicrobial resistance within a bacteria colony as a proof of concept the antimicrobial hydrogels were tested as a wound dressing on animal skin and showed good antimicrobial effects for up to 48 hours the new proof of concept hydrogel bandage is applied by simply laying it across the wound just as with the existing commercially available silicone gel sheets for wound dressing the current gold standard used following cosmetic surgeries to reduce scarring organic hydrogels are also useful for wearable flexible and stretchable electronics Wearable electronics can consist of small sensors that can detect heart rate and physical activities much like current smart bands. They could aid healthcare workers in monitoring the health of the elderly in remote communities.